Hello. Hi, good evening. Hi. Hi. <laughs> lo, lo, encontré, good evening, teacher. lo encontré en medio debate. Ya vi. Ok. Uh, everybody, welcome. Um, let's begin. I'm going to share the screen with you. And uh, I'm going to call the attendance. So let's see. Okay, just a moment. Okay, when you hear your name, please let me know. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Um, Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Present. Thank you. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present. Thank you. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Idalia Margarita Garcia Cruz. Present. Thank you. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. I'm here. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Just a moment. Okay, Luis Josué, okay, you're here. Maria Magdalena Mendez Mendez. Present. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez Grijalva. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez Grijalva. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez Rosales. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present. Thank you. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Presente, presente. Thank you, thank you. Olivia Raquel Rod Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. I'm here. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm here to talk. Thank you. All right. Llamo de nuevo a quienes no me han contestado por si se unieron en ese rato. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Marjorie Marilyn Martínez Grijalva. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Okay. Let's begin. Welcome once again. This is Inglés Pre-Intermedio, Módulo 1, and this is me, Ivan Doñan, at your service, and this is session number 7. Today is May 31st of 2023. Let's begin. So yesterday, we studied this, okay, the materials, like we said, a plastic bracelet, said a gold ring, a silk tie, wool socks, a leather jacket, a cotton shirt, silver earrings, and rubber boots, okay? That's the last thing we studied yesterday. Eso fue lo último que vimos. So... What are we going to do now? 
By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Van a, al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de comprender y utilizar los adjetivos comparativos. So first, we have this. Here's the grammar focus. Hmm, this is a little strange. Give me a moment. No. Uh, this one. I'm going to move this a little bit. Just a moment. Okay, take a look. Now, here's the grammar focus, preferences, comparisons with adjectives. You say, which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Prefiero el de cuero, o prefiero la de cuero. Which one do you like better? Which one do you like more is also possible, okay? But not as common. No es tan común, pero se puede decir more. So which one do you like better? Which one do you like more? I like the leather one better, or I like the leather one more, okay? También puede decir usted, that one, ese, de ahí, ¿verdad? Is cheaper than the wool one. Ese es más barato que el de lana. This one, este o esta, right, is nicer than, es mejor o más bonito, okay? Then, the leather jacket is prettier than, it looks bigger than, it's more stylish than. And there's the spelling, okay? But we're going to study that right here, don't worry. Some useful expressions are the color is prettier, the design is nicer, the style is more attractive, the material is better. But now I want you to take a look at this. This is extra, okay? This is not in the in the material that you have. So look, you have adjectives. He is old, right? He says, I am 92. And the lady says, I am 93. So he is old, but she is older. Es mayor, okay? Él está, digamos así, viejito, ¿verdad? Y ella está más viejita, es mayor, okay, older. That's the comparative one. Then you have 40 kilograms. And this one is 50 kilograms. So the 40 kilograms is heavy, pesado. Okay, the 50 kilograms is heavier, más pesado. That's the comparative form, the comparative degree of the adjective. Let's take a look. You have some shoes of $120. That's very expensive. Okay, $120 is expensive for shoes. But now look, $175. This is more expensive. It's más caro aún. So, older, heavier, more expensive are comparative forms. Okay, esos son los comparativos. That's the comparative form. The comparative is ER, like older, or more, as in more expensive. But don't worry, we're going to study the rules right here. What is the first rule? First, I'm going to send this to you so you can have it. Just a moment, I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, so um, sending this to you via WhatsApp. Check, bring your immediate one. Okay, I just sent it to you via WhatsApp. Now, these are the comparatives. This is the form of the comparative adjectives. Maria Magdalena. Teacher, y se podrá decir more heavy. Oh, no, no se puede. Informalmente, sí. Ok. Mm -hmm. Informalmente, okay. pero lo formal es heavier. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right. So what are we going to do? Take a look. Comparative forms. Give me a second. I'm going to stand up. Hi. <laughs> ok, I'm standing up for a moment. Bueno, no estar sentado todo el tiempo. So take a look, everybody. Let me adjust the camera. 
Everybody, I want you to look at this. You have comparative forms, one syllable adjectives. Sometimes adjectives only have one syllable. For example, when that happens, you have to add ER. You have the adjective old. Old only has one syllable. So the comparative is older. Slow. Let me zoom in. Slow only has one syllable. You say slow, slow. That's one syllable only. So the comparative is slower, slower. Nice, nice is a one syllable adjective. It only has one syllable. You say nice, nice, one syllable. So the comparative is nicer nicer okay fíjense bien ya termina en i así que no hay que ponerle er solo r okay nicer so that's the first rule when you have an adjective that only has one syllable only one syllable then you add er so slow becomes sorry old becomes older slow becomes slower and nice becomes nicer. Next rule. Take a look. Be very careful here. When you have an adjective that ends in consonant plus a vowel plus a consonant except W, you have to add an extra consonant and ER. For example, fíjese bien en estos adjectives. They have one syllable. Okay, and they finish in the combination consonant, vowel, and consonant. Termina en consonante, vocal, y consonante. So when that happens, you have to add an extra consonant in ER. So big becomes bigger with double G. Hot becomes hotter with double T. Thin becomes thinner, double N. Ok. En algunos libros aparece como que la regla fuera nada más, que si termina en vocal y consonante, hay que aplicar esto, pero esa regla no es correcta. Tiene que ser consonante, vocal y consonante. Ok. So, consonant, vowel and consonant. Si termina en consonante, vocal y consonante, va a tener que agregar una consonante más. Y luego ER, as in big, bigger, double G, hot, hotter, double T, thin, thinner, double N. Before we continue, do you have any questions? Antes que continuemos, ¿tienen alguna pregunta, duda? En este momento podemos eh, resolverla. Chat entry right here. Cecilio. Sí, buenas noches, teacher. Este, tengo una duda. Ok. Este, more, more es un comparativo, como dice usted. Yes. Y most. Most es superlative. Es un superlativo. Va en la misma línea gramatical, pero es otro tema. Uh -huh. Ok. Son uh -huh. distintos. Son distintos. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Uh, no es aquí. Thank you. You're welcome. Sí, este solo quería saber que cómo se pronuncia old en la primera fila, pero parece que dice older. No sé si se dice así de esta forma. Yes, you have the, the base form of the adjective is old. The comparative is older. Old. Entonces, old, old viene siendo como viejo. Y viejo, vieja, de, viejos o viejas. Más viejo. Son similares. No, es el ah, comparativo. Okay. Es más viejo. Comparativo. O mayor más puede viejo. ser también. Luego tenemos y slow. slow. Lento. Ajá. Lento. Ah. Slower, más lento. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice. Es como bonito. Nicer, más bonito. That's the comparative form. Cecilio Antonio and then Miguel Antonio. The two Antonios.
Cecilio. Sí, dígame. Tiene la mano levantada. Ah, perdón. Ah, le había perdón. quedado levantada, no hay problema. Okay. Sí, me había quedado levantada. Ok, Miguel Antonio. Eh, teacher, ¿puede repetir la pronunciación? Eh, por favor, cuando se duplican las... Por ejemplo, de Big, Hot y Tinder. The, the pronunciation. Sí, the pronunciation. Para okay. poder medio... Yo lo anoto, por eso le decía. Ok, no problem. Big, bigger. Hot, hotter. Thin, thinner. Mm -hmm. Es thinner, thinner. Thinner, thinner. Así como, como, como los españoles cuando dicen zapato. No dicen zapato, sino zapato. Entonces ese sonido es el que va al principio. Thinner, thinner. Thinner, mm -hmm. thinner. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Marina, and then Noé. Sí, este... Yo he visto y he escuchado en el de los comparativos big, eh, lo que tiene ahí, bigger, and biggest. That's a superlative. Superlativo sería como lo uh -huh. decía el compañero. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Este sería el más grande de todos. Uh -huh. Pero cuando decimos the biggest, pero en este caso es bigger, que es nada más más grande cuando está comparando dos cosas únicamente. Y en el caso de biggest es cuando comparación. Son, cuando está comparando tres o más y está expresando el que tiene el mayor grado. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, okay. decimos, Russia is the biggest country in the world. Estamos comparando a Rusia con todos los países del mundo por lo, y es el más grande. Entonces ahí decimos, the biggest. That's a superlative. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, uh, Noé Ezequiel. Sí, tengo otra duda. Uh, ¿Mm? Bueno, entonces estos adjetivos tienen su regla. Lo que yo veo y lo que percibo aquí es que si terminan en una consonante y medio tiene una vocal y luego una consonante, se le agrega la E, la R. Se le agrega, no sé si, 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 tiene, si tiene únicamente una sílaba. Una sílaba en medio de las dos consonantes. No, la sil no, es lo que va en medio de las dos consonantes, es una vocal. Una vocal, ah, una vocal. Sí, la sí. sílaba es, ¿verdad? El conjunto de letras, es decir, de consonantes y vocales que conforman la palabra. Por ejemplo, old, old, one syllable. Slow, slow, one syllable. Nice, one syllable. Big, one syllable. Hot, one syllable. Thin. One syllable. Todas estas palabras solo tienen una sílaba. Una uh -huh. sílaba. Ah. Pero si terminan esas en consonant, vowel en consonant, o sea, consonante, vocal y consonante, ahí es que usted va, va a duplicar la consonante. Ah, ok. Bueno, gracias. Uh -huh. Ok, you're welcome. Catherine Andreina, what's your question? Eh, bueno, sería con respecto a lo que, mismo que dijo mi compañera de Vigues. Porque Vigues uh -huh. es como decirlo más, más grande. Es el y más, es, el más grande, la más grande, los más grandes o las más grandes. The biggest. Oh, the biggest. Uh -huh. Ese también está, bueno, estaba viendo que es como decirlo, es el biggest, lo ocuparían como para decir mayor, todo que sea eh, grande, ¿verdad? No necesariamente, como, sino, no. Biggest, beer? The biggest, the biggest, beer, beer. cerveza. Fear, no. Ah, fear, fear, ok, your biggest fear, su miedo más grande. O sea, de todos los miedos, el más, 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 más grande. El que le gana a todos. Ese sería okay. biggest, ¿ok? No, pero ahora estamos viendo comparatives, nada más. Cuando es comparatives, solamente estamos comparando dos cosas, nada más. Como en la diapositiva anterior, teníamos... Estamos comparando dos personas. Old, older. O comparamos dos objetos. Heavy, heavier. Comparamos dos pares de zapatos. Expensive, more expensive. Ok. Ok. All right. 
So the next rule is, this is with one syllable adjectives. Now, two syllable adjectives, cuando tienen dos. Two syllable adjectives ending in Y, change Y for I-E-R. Give me a second, please. Sorry, I'm back. So two syllable adjectives ending in Y, you change Y for I-E-R. For example, look, you have the adjectives easy. Now that has two syllables, easy, <coughs> easy, okay? Easy. And then the comparative is easier, easier. Now this is a two syllable adjective that ends in Y. When that happens, you need to change Y for I-E-R. So easy becomes easier, I-E-R. Heavy, heavy, two syllables, heavy, heavy. So it ends in Y also, so you need to change Y for I-E-R, heavier. The next one is early, early, two syllables, early, okay? And it ends in Y. So you change Y for I-E-R. Si tenemos easy, fácil, easier, más fácil. Heavy, pesado. Heavier, más pesado. Early, temprano. Earlier, más temprano. Okay? That's, the, that's with two syllables. And now you use more for adjectives with two or more syllables. If the adjective has two syllables in general, pero no termina en Y, okay, two syllables or three syllables or four syllables, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, then you use more. Drinking some water now. Okay. So you have some examples. Careful, careful, two syllables, careful. You say, more careful. Expensive. Expensive. Three syllables. Expensive. So you say more expensive. Intelligent. Intelligent. Four syllables. Intelligent. So you say more intelligent. Interesting. Interesting. You say more interesting. Okay? Those are the rules. Again, one more time. When they have only one syllable, you add ER, as in old, older, slow, slower, nice, nicer. If the one syllable adjective ends in consonant, vowel, and consonant, except W, you have to add an extra consonant in ER. For example, big becomes bigger. Hot, Hotter, thin, thinner. En cada una, si usted se fija, han añadido una consonante más. Bigger, double G. Hotter, double T. Thinner, double N. Then, what happens when you have two syllable adjectives? Two and plus, okay? es decir, dos o más. For two syllable adjectives ending in Y, you change Y for I-E-R. Si son adjetivos de dos sílabas que termina en Y, entonces hay que cambiar ese Y por I-E-R. Easy becomes easier. Heavy becomes heavier. Early becomes earlier, I-E-R. And then in general, you have to use more for adjectives with two or more syllables. Careful, two syllables. So you say more careful. Expensive, three syllables. So you say more expensive. Intelligent, four syllables. So you say more intelligent, interesting, three syllables. So you say more interesting. And you have some examples. The first one goes, this jacket is okay, but I think the other one, aquí vemos one, lo que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? The other one is nicer. Esta chaqueta está bien, dice, pero la otra está más bonita, okay? This jacket is okay, but I think the other one is nicer. Helen wants to buy a bigger car. Her car is very small. She wants to buy a bigger car. Susan doesn't like her job. She wants to do something more interesting. 
And the last one, you should be more careful when you drive. Debería ser más cuidadoso cuando manejas. You should be more careful when you drive. Any questions? No, eh? Sí, tengo una duda. Una duda. Yes. En cuanto a la estructura, bueno, sobre los adjetivos, no importa si van antes o después de un sustantivo. Por ejemplo, en la segunda dice L wants to buy a bigger car. No se puede poner bigger después de car. Es decir, car bigger. Ajá, car bigger. Mm -mm. In English, adjectives come before nouns. Siempre está antes de los sustantivos. No, normally, it comes before the noun. In some rare uh -huh. exceptions, okay, it doesn't happen. But normally, like 95% of the times, the adjective comes before the noun. Siempre habrá excepciones, imagino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A few exceptions. But normally, like more than 90% of the times, the adjective comes before the noun. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Bueno. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, so also something that you need to know is that there are some special cases, irregular adjectives. For example, good. Good is an adjective, but the comparative is not gooder. Gooder doesn't exist. The comparative is better. And then you have bad. Bad is an adjective. The comparative is worse. This is like Spanish. En español no decimos más bueno o más malo. No decimos eso. Digo yo, ¿verdad? Este, eh, esta pizza es buena, pero la otra es más buena. Mm. Decimos más bien, la otra es mejor. ¿Ok? Es parecido. Lo mismo no decimos más malo, decimos peor. ¿Ok? Mejor, peor. So, the comparative of good is better. The comparative of bad is worse. Son casos especiales. Example, the weather wasn't very good yesterday, but it's better today. El clima no estaba muy bien ayer, no era muy bonito, muy bueno ayer, pero hoy está mejor. So bad. Do you feel better today? No, I feel worse. Siento peor. Now, take a look at this. You have the adjective far. Far, lejos. So the comparative of far is farther. Farther when it means distance. For example, we are almost at the beach. Just drive a little farther. Solo conduce un poco más lejos, un poco más allá, okay? Farther, más lejos. But also there is the, fur, the, the, the form further, further, which is different. Further means additional. No es lo mismo que la distancia. Additional. We need further examples. Necesitamos más ejemplos o ejemplos adicionales a los que ya tenemos. We need further examples. That's the difference. Okay, so remember, farther, okay, with an A, miss is for distance. You say, just drive a little farther, más lejos. Further with a U is additional. We need further examples. We need additional examples. And there are some exceptions. Hay unas excepciones de esta regla. Hay más que estas, pero estas son las más comunes. Fun. Fun is a one-syllable adjective, but the comparative is not funner. That doesn't exist. The comparative of fun is more fun. Son excepciones. Usted me va a decir, teacher, pero son así las reglas que nos acaba de decir, precisamente porque son excepciones. No existe funner. Es more fun. Real. Real is another one. You don't say realer. Mm -mm. That word doesn't exist. You say more real. Bored. Aburrido, right? Bored has one syllable, but you don't say bordered. No. You say more bored, etc. Now we're going to do some exercises. Take a good look. Ah, sorry. I love the book, but the movie adaptation was more fun. Virtual reality makes video games more real. 
Yesterday she was bored. Today she is even more bored. Está todavía más aburrida. She's even more bored. Do you have any questions about this? No questions. Okay, then exercise time. Look at the pictures and write the. Aha, uh -huh, no Ezequiel. Sí, este con la anterior este diapositiva. Mm -hmm. Estoy viendo que cuando dice diversión en, en comparativa, siempre hay, hay excepciones, como usted está mencionando. En realidad, uno en teoría debería de pensar que hubiese fun, funes, digamos, como sobre. Y con doble N. Ajá. Ajá, pero veo que aquí se tiene que agregar more todavía. Así no es. existe esa palabra, palabra funes. No, no para funner. decir. No. There is no word. Imagínate haber más de estas así, ¿verdad? Sí, hay otras, pero son menos comunes, un poquito más difíciles de ocupar. Por lo pronto, con bueno, esta no ejemplo, queremos. En mm. los adjetivos regulares, estoy viendo que es, está good. Mm -hmm. Uno, es uno debería pensar que debería haber este, una frase similar, pero es, es diferente a lo que veo acá. ¿Cómo una ah. frase similar? Bueno, bueno la, la palabra good y ver mm -hmm. son, son muy diferentes. Incluso Así la es. Escritura, Así es. Pero tiene el mismo significado. No, o sea, no es exactamente el mismo, porque cuando decimos good es bueno, buena, buenos o buenas. Cuando decimos better es mejor. Mm, sí, mm -hmm. a veces lo confundimos en el español. Ajá, bueno, sí. mejor. Bueno, lo mismo bad, que es malo, mala, malos o malas. El comparativo mm -hmm. es worse, que es peor. Peor. Ajá. Sí, y no era otro más peor, digo. Ajá, ah, por cierto, hablando de eso, hay que tener cuidado con eso. Así como nosotros podemos cometer el error de decir en español, más mejor, también en inglés puede suceder eso. Nunca vaya usted a decir, digamos, more better. This will be incorrect. Sería el exacto equivalente a decir en español, más mejor. Ok, eso no existe. Solo existe mejor. En inglés también solo existe better. Pero nunca more better. Ok, les digo porque... Así como en español a veces escuchamos eso, también en inglés sucede, ¿verdad? Que al estar aprendiendo, escuchamos que dice la gente, more better. No, only better. That's it. Y aquí no podríamos decir much better. O... Ah, eso es diferente. Ajá. Sí se puede, much better. Que es, ah, okay. Como en español es mucho mejor. Ah, okay. ok. Ahí sí. Ahí sí. Much better. Much es un adverb en este caso. Okay. All right, so we're going to do some exercises. Look at the pictures and write the comparative forms. Who can tell me? The first one is heavy. What about 40 kilograms? What about the 50 kilograms? Miguel Antonio. No, es para el ejercicio. Do you have a question? No, 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 era para hacer el ejercicio. Para hacer el ejercicio. Okay, por eso, vamos aquí. So heavy, you have heavy. Uh, 40 kilograms. What's the comparative of heavy? Uh, 50 kilograms heavy, heavier. Heavier, okay, heavier. yes. Heavier, that's heavier. correct. Good. Katerina Andreina, what about number two? Big, and the house next, next to it is? The microphone, Katerina? Okay, uh, that is museum, but okay, yeah. I don't know, it's a house, right? This may be a museum. I don't know, it's a building, un edificio. So the first one is big, and the okay. other one is? The other one is bigger. Bigger, double G, okay, bigger. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, the next one, Ada Veronica. The turtle is slow, and the snail is? It's slower. Slower, okay, slower, with E-R. Number four, the first camera is $150, it's expensive, but the second camera is $470. What 
What about that one, Maria Magdalena? What is it? More expensive. More expensive, that's correct. Okay, thank you. What about number five? Raise your hands, please. Oscar Mauricio, you have high. What about the other mountain? Uh, here. Okay, uh, the pronunciation is higher. Higher. Not higher, but higher, higher. Higher. Uh-huh. So high, higher. Okay, thank you. And then you have number six, dangerous. Uh, Ada Veronica. More dangerous. More dangerous. That is correct. Okay, the comparative of dangerous is more dangerous. Very good. So what's next? Take a look. Write the comparative. Ahora sí en dibujito. Okay, heavy. What's the comparative of heavy? Raise your hand, please. Miguel Antonio. Heavier. Heavier. Okay. La misma del otro ejercicio, me dijo. Okay, Catherine Andrina. Uh, strong. What is the comparative of strong? The comparative strong is stronger. Stronger. Okay, that's correct. Thank you. Maria Magdalena, what's the comparative of happy? The microphone. Happier. Happier. I E R. Happier. Okay, with I E R. Good. Thank you. Volunteer for the next one. What's the comparative of modern? Stephanie Brenda Lee, and then Pablo Josué, and then Marina Amaya. Mantengan la mano levantada para que no se me olvide. Stephanie. Mother. Okay, let's count the number of syllables. Modern. Modern. Two syllables. What is the comparative mm -hmm. form? Mother. Mm -mm. Eso es cuando los adjectives tienen solo una sílaba. Pero en este caso, oh, okay. tiene dos o más. Así que, what is the comparative? No. <laughs> okay, no problem. Maybe Pablo Josué can help us. What's the comparative of modern? Maybe other e Sorry? To see the boat. Um, Modern has two syllables, yes. A-E-R? A-E-R. No, sorry. It's a bit different. Oh. Marina Maya de Mata? Siempre en la número cuatro. Number four, yes. Modern. Modern has two syllables. Modern. Mm, it's different. Let's see, Miguel Antonio, what's the comparative of modern? More modern? More modern, así es. More modern, okay. Cuando un adjetivo tiene dos sílabas o más, vamos a ocupar more al principio. Okay. What about number five? Siempre recuerden cuando su micrófono, si no están participando, desactiven su micrófono, por favor. Híjole. ¿Quién tiene el micrófono activado? <laughs> ok, thank you. Siempre recordemos, desactivemos el micrófono. ¿verdad? Ahí se nota, ¿verdad? Lo que yo les decía. O se escucha un montón de interferencia de fondo. Así que solo cuando hablemos, pongámoslo. Cuando terminemos, desactivémoslo otra vez. Ok. So, what about number five? Let's see. Isaac. More important. More important. Ok, very good. Otra cosa, también la manita, cuando ya haya terminado su participación, también bájenla para que no se me acumulen aquí en pantalla, porque después ya no miro quién sigue. Ok, Ada Verónica, what about good? What's the comparative? Better. Better, that's correct, very good. 
Number seven, you have large. What's the comparative of large? Katherine Andreina. Um, large. Hmm? Large. What's the comparative? Uh, comparative of the lawyer. Larger. Okay. The comparative is larger. Okay. Good. Thank you. What about number eight? Serious. What's the comparative of serious? Marjorie. More serious. More serious. Okay. That is correct. And uh, Marjorie, aquí le tomo su asistencia. Okay, uh, Isaac and then Juan Antonio. What's the comparative of pretty, Isaac? Prettier. Prettier with, sorry. Prettier, prettier. With I -E -R. prettier. Prettier, thank you. Juan Antonio Bran, crowded, crowded. What's the comparative of crowded? Um, yeah. I think uh, more crowded. No, more crowded. Sorry. No, that's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. okay, thanks. More crowded because crowded two syllables. Crowded, crowded. Okay, so more crowded. Thank you. ¿Cuánto tiene la ventaja? Por favor. ¿Qué significa esa palabra crowded? La número diez. Crowded means full of people when there are a lot of people. When you go to El Mahawal Beach on vacation, it's crowded. When you go on the bus, it's crowded. When you go to a concert, it's crowded. When you go to the stadium, it's crowded, okay? When you go shopping on December 24th, it's crowded. So yeah, that's crowded. There's a lot of people, okay? That's the meaning of crowded. So um, what about the next exercise? write the opposite all the adjectives here are comparatives but you have to give me the opposite for example what's the opposite of younger miguel sure i'm sorry sure mm, no the opposite lo contrario for example okay ada veronica old Okay, old es lo contrario de young, pero aquí tenemos el, el comparativo, younger, entonces lo contrario sería? Boy. Mm, no, not exactly. Oscar Alexander. Okay. It's okay, come on. It's, it's young, young. Mm -mm, the opposite. No, perdón, perdón, uh, uh -huh. sorry, uh, older. Older, okay, the, yeah. So you have younger, the opposite, older. What about number two? Colder. What's the opposite? Juan Antonio. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because cold is uh, frío. Entonces, uh, hot, hot, hotter. Hotter. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe. Hotter. Hotter or warmer. Okay. okay. Just give me a second. Just a moment. Okay, number three, you have cheaper. What's the what's the opposite? Ada Veronica. Expensive. Expensive sería el, el lo contrario de cheap, pero en este caso es un comparative. Cheaper, what will be the opposite of cheaper? I don't know. Okay, Sorry. no problem. Marina Amaya. More expensive. More expensive. That is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces veamos. El ejercicio se trata de dar el contrario. Si decimos nada más cheap, eso sí, barato. Okay. Lo contrario es expensive. Pero como estamos ocupando comparatives, cheaper es más barato. Lo contrario sería more expensive. Okay. So, what about better, Idalia? Worse. Worse, that is correct. Very good, thank you. Juan Antonio, 
nearer. What's the compare? What's the opposite comparative? Mm -hmm. uh, farther. Farther. Okay. Farther. Farther. Mm -hmm. Far farther. Farther. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's that's the opposite. Very good. What about number six? Volunteers, please. Acuérdense cuando su participación concluya, bajen la manita. Si no se me acumulan las personas con la mano levantada y ya no sé quién quiere participar. Thank you very much. Okay. So what about the next one? Easier. What's the opposite? Okay, Marina. What's more that? difficult. More difficult. More difficult. Okay. Yeah, that's right. You can say harder, que también es difícil, harder, or more difficult. Okay. Okay, good. More difficult is nice. Thank you. What about the next one? You have slower. What's the opposite of slower? What's the opposite of slower? Juan Antonio. Faster. Faster. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Faster. The next one is lower. What's the opposite of lower? Lower. The opposite is? I'll be the opposite. Ada Veronica. Higher. You mean higher? Higher. 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 Okay. Yeah. Correct. Higher. Thank you. Thank you. Number nine. You have a uh, smaller. What's the opposite of smaller? What's the opposite of smaller? Okay, Catherine Andreina, and then Miguel Antonio, and then Idalia. Okay. Um, uh, greater or higher? No, it's a bit different. Let's see what Idalia Margarita has to say. Let's hear her. Taller. No. Taller. Uh -huh. Taller will be the opposite Smaller. of shorter. Okay. Smaller uh -huh. is, is the original okay. adjective. So what's small? Uh -huh. The other one is? What is that? Uh -huh. the, uh, Marina Maya. No sé cómo se pronuncia, pero... Me voy por lo de las tallas de la ropa, small, smaller, más pequeño, mm -hmm. Lar larger. Larger is possible. La you can say larger or bigger, pero larger también estaría bien. De hecho, lo vamos a agregar acá porque está correcto la palabra larger. Just let me change this. Just a moment. Okay. Bigger or larger? That's right. Okay. So uh, the last one, uglier, mafeo. Okay. What is the opposite comparative form? Maria Magdalena. Beautiful. But beautiful is not a comparative form. We need the comparative form. Miguel Antonio? Prettier. Prettier, okay. Prettier. prettier. Or more beautiful, okay? You say prettier or more beautiful. Okay. Prettier or more beautiful. 
So we don't have much time, so let's continue. Okay, we did this. Just a small review here, the irregular forms, the exceptions. Okay, so complete the sentences. You have to use a comparative. Vamos con estas oraciones. No tenemos mucho tiempo, así que procuremos no tardarnos demasiado acá. So, Helen's car isn't very big. She wants a bigger one. Quiere uno más grande, okay? So, she wants a bigger one. Quiere un vehículo más grande. Quiere uno más grande. So, what about number two? My job isn't very interesting. I want to do something, Miguel Antonio. More interesting. More interesting. Okay, thank you. Number three, you're not very tall. Your brother is. What do you have? You are not very tall. Your brother is. Marina? Lower? Mm -mm. Low? Mm -mm. No, sorry. Veamos, en este caso no se trata de encontrar el opuesto. El adjetivo que va a utilizar está en la oración. Sí, taller entonces. Your brother is taller. Okay, dice, tú no eres muy alto. Dice, tu hermano es más alto. Dice, yeah, you're not very tall. Your brother is taller. Thank you, Marina. Juan Antonio Brand, number five. David doesn't work very hard. I work. Juan Antonio, the microphone. Yeah, no, sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, who has number four? David doesn't work very hard. I work. How do you work? Consuelo Enriqueta. Uh, I work harder, teacher. I work harder. That is correct. Very good. Okay. okay, thank you. Number five. My chair isn't very comfortable. Yours is... Idalia. More yeah. comfortable. Uh -huh. More comfortable. Yours is more comfortable. Is it la suya o la tuya es más cómoda? Okay, good. Maria Magdalena, your idea isn't very good. Idea is better. My idea is better. That is correct. Thank you. Miguel, my this house isn't very nice. Your house is nicer. Our house is nicer. Okay. Our house, Our house is nicer. Good. Number eight, my suitcase isn't very heavy. Volunteer for this one, please. Catherine Andreina. Your suitcase is heavier. Your suitcase is heavier, okay? Your suitcase is heavier. I'm sorry, I'm yawning. I'm a little tired. Okay, thank you. Maria Magdalena, number nine. I'm not very interested in art. I am... More interesting. More interested in history. Mm -hmm. That's correct. I am more interested. 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 Yeah, that's interested. correct. Okay, good. So what is next? Number 10. These tomatoes don't taste very good. The other ones taste too. Mm -hmm. These tomatoes don't taste very good. The other ones tasted. Marina? Better. The other ones sí. tasted better. Híjole, me, me salté una, lo siento. Ok, sí, pero sí, esa, no sí, esa es better. Vale, vale. Le damos el punto a Marina. Ok, okay number 10. It isn't very warm today. It was. I'm sorry. Me salté esta. 
It was Juan Antonio. A ver si sí. uh, it was warmer yesterday. It was warmer yesterday. And then number 11, okay, which is these tomatoes don't taste very good, the other ones tasted better. Number 12, Britain isn't very big. France is Miguel. France is bigger. France is bigger. Okay, thank you. Maria Magdalena, you go for the next one. Los Angeles isn't very beautiful. San Francisco is? More beautiful. More beautiful. That's right. Number 14. Marina, this knife isn't very sharp. Este cuchillo no está muy afilado. Sharp, afilado. So, do you have a... Se me olvida el micrófono. Do you have a sharper one? Do you have a sharper one? Correct. Okay, tienes uno más afilado. And the last one. People today aren't very polite. In the past, they were... Who has this one? Yo. Anybody. More polite. More polite. That's correct. More People today aren't very polite. In the past, they were more polite. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Ya casi terminamos, no? Okay, um, let's see if there's an extra exercise right here. More polite. Wait. What do we have first? Just a moment. Ah, yeah. Okay. So again, Helen's car isn't very big. She wants a bigger one. My job isn't very interesting. I want to do something more interesting. Number three, you're not very tall. Your brother is taller. Number four, David doesn't work very hard. I work harder. Okay, my chair isn't very comfortable. Yours is more comfortable. Your idea isn't very good. My idea is better. This house isn't very nice. Our house is nicer. My suitcase isn't very heavy. Your suitcase is heavier. I am not very interested in art. I am more interested in history. Number 10, it isn't very warm today. Was it warmer yesterday? 11, these tomatoes don't taste very good. The other ones tasted better. Number 12, Britain isn't very big. France is bigger. Number 13, Los Angeles isn't very beautiful. San Francisco is more beautiful. Number 14, this knife isn't very sharp. Do you have a sharper one? And number 15, people today aren't very polite. In the past, they were more polite okay so uh, i'm just going to call the attendance one more time and then um we're going to finish the class so only one person is missing let's see luis enrique palma alvarado are you here luis enrique palma alvarado not here okay then that's it, okay. Tomorrow we'll continue with the comparatives with Dan, which is very important. But for now, we're going to end the class right here. So everybody, thank you for uh, being in this class. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your questions. And thank you for your attention. I will see you tomorrow. Recuerden que mañana termina esta sección. Para el día de mañana ya tiene que estar completa la sección 3 y tiene que estar completo el midterm. De todas maneras, aquí en clase vamos a ver el midterm también, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Oscar Pero... Mauricio. Dígame. Este, me pasó lista y no, no, no escuché. Oscar Mauricio. Sí, ya está. Ok, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Marina. Pero los mensajes que envían al grupo de WhatsApp, dice la señorita que la, lo, las notas, lo, los resultados, los avances nuestros, los procesan a media mañana. Uh -huh. Y los envían a Instacore. Y entonces usted dice que se va a trabajar en la noche. Estamos sí. con... 
Lo que pasa es que recuerde que lo que hacemos en la noche nada más es un acompañamiento porque el programa está diseñado para ser como autodidacta. Es decir, que vayamos nosotros mismos eh, cubriendo los contenidos y si hay alguna duda o consulta en las clases se puede resolver. Última participación porque tengo otra clase inmediatamente. Ada Verónica. ¿El micrófono? Sí. Sí, es que estaba haciendo la actividad de la eh, unidad 5, creo yo, donde dice que tenemos que rellenar, ¿verdad? Con, con good, do, does, y, pero abajo dice que pongamos el presente continuo. Entonces yo pongo un ejemplo, study, studying, con ing, ese mm -hmm. es el presente continuo. Tiene que llevar el verb be también. Oh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por, uh -huh. por ejemplo, I am studying, he is studying, we are studying. Okay. 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 No es que ya no Thank quiera you, you're, you're welcome. No es que ya no quiera contestar más preguntas, pero ya no puedo. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher.